You were too close to me. In all honesty, when it actually comes to the hardcore Chucky fans, I actually like to keep this sort of distance. That measurement I provided before is about accurate to what I was measuring before I started recording. We are watching season two of Chucky today or starting season two. You have really enjoyed the Chucky series on my channel. You've also enjoyed the movies prior to that. So I thought I would give you a present and uh, do Chucky a lot earlier than eight months from when I finished the first season. <laughs> I also want to give a quick disclaimer. I've got some comments saying you need to watch some of the movies before you watch the series. That is one of the dumbest comments I've ever read. <laughs> I will actually do season three of Chucky once the entire season is out. And um, that's when I'll start the season three watch along. Leave a like, leave a comment, um, and let's get into Chucky season two. Because I have no idea what to expect. I just remembered Bree died. Are we there yet? When do we get to start stabbing people? Wait. <laughs> what the fuck? Bro, it's it's Zavid. That's crazy. They say bald guys are more virile. Do they? Get back in your boxes, all of you! Don't make me come back there! Chucky's like, you coming back here is the one thing I want you to do. On me. Oh no! Hey dude, I mean you wanted some head, now you've got it. Oh Jesus Christ. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Are they getting free? Oh my god! <laughs> okay, now that is a terrifying concept. This is so intense straight away. This is for Kyle! Isn't he gonna kill himself? Oh, that looks goofy as hell. Andy would have jumped out last second, I bet. Imagine dying in a TV show, though. <laughs> kind of embarrassing. Hey. Hey. Hey, Jake. My podcast got picked up by Spotify. I've partnered with Joe Rogan. <laughs> I guess this is it. Well, only for now. I mean... Oh, no! We're break breaking up! Up. Only live two hours away and I can see you every weekend. Jake. Long distance relationships do exist, fellas. <sighs> I love you, Jake. Dude, don't fucking say that when we're breaking up. Like, we're moving to a different location. Don't go, I love you, man. I, uh, then I'm staying. <laughs> Devin, you may as well just jump in the fucking boot of the car if you're just going to keep staring at him. Jake! Oh, wait, stop, stop, stop. <laughs> what is happening? Oh! <laughs> I mean, cute, but that would- why didn't you do that before he got in the car? That's just gonna piss off his new family more. Now this family's definitely not gonna approve. Not because you're gay or anything, but because you made them stop the car f two seconds later. They're watching. I don't care. I feel like, uh, the Leatherface family says the same thing, and that's why they're all inbred. I- what was that? Oh, six months later, okay. Is this when I upload season three? Oh god, ew! Oh, f like creepy dolls like that. Uh, f that. That's someone dressed up as Chucky. And we're still gonna go on believing some characters don't know this doll exists. Okay. Trick or treat! Shit. Jesus, Batman almost like killed his first victim. Cause you know, Batman doesn't kill. Except then was almost an exception. You scared me. It's called colorophobia. Whoa, dude! That makeup is rad! How old are you? Guess. What are you doing out here all alone? Like, where are your parents? I killed them. They're dead. I think he's lying. <laughs> oh, God. I don't, also, I don't understand why Batman's opening the door unmasked. Like, you have a secret identity for a reason. The most important thing in the utility belt is a bobby pin. Good to know. True, actually. It's like saying the most important thing in my snack box is the snacks. 
Where are you? Who's Devin meant to be? Commissioner Gordon? Hey, can I talk to you for a second? Yeah, um, can you give me a second, buddy? You're already talking to him! Stop doing this dumb shit where it's like, hey, can we talk? We're already talking. You're supposed to be on the bus. Jake, I'm cooking for you here, man. Pam and Larry wouldn't let me go. They're they're still not cool with us. Screw them. They're not your real parents. Oh, so they're not cool with you guys dating because you held the car up. Okay, I know it sucks, but let's just focus on Christmas break, all right? And what am I supposed to do until then? Jake, you're the only one I can talk to about what really happened. Yeah, because everyone else is pretty much dead. Oh, f where's Lexi at? Oh my god, I she's still alive, isn't she? Let's go, Batman! Yeah, um, I'll be right there. Just a second. Imagine if that's how Batman responded to Robin. Let's go, Batman. Yeah, Robin, shut up, all right? In a minute. Is this 555-0131? Yeah. That's Brad Dourif. Doing anything fun tonight? Uh, yeah, super fun. I should probably get back to it. Is this like a Scream reference? This feels like a Scream reference. Happy Halloween. Yeah, that's real Scream vibes right there. Uh, because someone answered a phone. That's that's the reference. You don't think it could Jake, I don't think anything could have survived that crash. Not even Andy. Yeah, Andy would have dove out last second. Imagine he died like that. <laughs> That'd be crazy. Trick or treat, smell my feet. Give me oh, something oh. good to eat. Oh no. Could I please use your bathroom? It's an emergency. Oh god, Charlotte's gonna get murdered. No, Caroline, no. Oh, Ca Caroline, sorry, oops. Oh, there she is. Who's she hooking up with this time? Yes, I'd like to report a break-in at 3083 Fairburn. Hey, uh, stop FaceTiming this right now, actually. We're about to see some, like, some dick. I don't want to see that. I'm an ally, by the way. I just don't want to see dick right now. Can I get that? Nope. Imagine getting called whilst you're in the middle of something like that. Dressed as a vampire. That would suck. Lexi, I really like you. Thanks. I really want to suck your blood. He asked to use the bathroom. He said it was an emergency. What? Bitch, why would you let anyone in for even that reason when they're dressed in a sheet? Would you mind staying with us until my mother gets home? She'll be pissed off if you don't. Plus, she's also the mayor, so what the mayor says goes. She had secrets. Chucky always had secrets. And you see this, like, she's so annoying. I just, I wish kids would be muted sometimes. Including my daddy. Caroline, you know that it was Junior Wheeler who did that. Junior Wheeler got framed for going under the cinema seats and stabbing me. Okay, I don't think his size would have fit under all those seats, but sure. I've always been able to read people. Yeah, well, read this, bitch. He was the sweetest boy in the world. That boy destroyed everything. Very possibly my career, if you haven't seen the latest polls. Oh my... I actually hate the mum the most, I think. She can't even sleep without waking up screaming every night from the nightmares. I hate my mum. It's called pediophobia. That's a clinical term for fear of dolls. That sounds like a fear of something else. Uh, also, is that the actress who plays Aunt May in... <laughs> Tom McGuire's Spider-Man movies? Kinda of looks like Aunt May a little bit. This is Belle. Oh shit! It's the one from, um, C. Uh, fuck. It's the one from Bride of Chucky. I use her sometimes for therapeutic purposes. Caroline, I think Belle could help you. Oh, I love that callback. That's a great reference. Is there a soul in that? Imagine getting a doll that's eyes are bigger than, like, yours. No, thank you. As a survivor of violence myself, I think I occupy a unique position of empathy. I know exactly what they're going through because I'm going through it too. You don't even seem sad your husband died. The survivor's guilt. That I promise every citizen attacking I will show no mercy to violent offenders. One strike? And you're out. <laughs> You've got my vote, lady. I'm getting through it with my family's help. We're getting through it together. I think she's starting to hate her mum. Am I going to be Team Lexi by the end of this? At the start of the show, I did not think I would end up Team Lexi, but maybe I might be. What ever happened to Chucky? <laughs> she said that. Chucky told me to kill mommy. Uh, Who is Chucky? Um, thank you. 
remember? Get out of my house. And this is why you won't make it to a second term because you crack under pressure. Oh, oh. That's not very nice to do to her on her wedding night. And then like get one out of fucking. Dolls are horrifying. Never trust any doll, they're all fucked up. Ventriloquist and porcelain dolls, no thank you. No joke, when I was a teenager, I watched a bunch of Jeff Dunham stuff and I couldn't even stand his ventriloquist dolls because one night I had a, <laughs> I had a nightmare about... I had a nightmare about his Ahmed one and I, I can't stand ventriloquist dolls anymore. Something about those eyes and just pure skeleton body. Ugh. <laughs> Just talking. Ugh. How'd you quit? I'm sorry, Jake. When did you stop medicating your chronic anxiety? No, it's not the same thing. It's just a little weed. What's the big deal? Team Lexi. That quote alone. Team Lexi. Devin, what did you find out about Caroline's doll? Well, she looks a little like the Bride of Chucky. Remember that movie? Yeah, with Jennifer Tilly, who we know really is the Bride of Chucky, Tiffany Valentine. Are you gonna confuse me again? <laughs> Oh my god. She ran away on her wedding night. She got cold feet. Shit, it's my mom. Um, get in the closet. Yes, we all know how well hiding in cupboards like that works. Ask Charles Lee Ray's mum. What's going on? I was just checking on Caroline. Mum, my weed has hit a chaos talking to the fucking floor. Caroline, what did I tell you last night? That was okay. She's not like Jackie. Uh, I don't know. I don't know about that. I have a feeling that she's going to corrupt Caroline if there is someone in there. Here. An apple a day keeps Charles Lee Ray at bay. Uh, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Why? Have a joint. Relax. Holy homemade bomb back, girl. What? Oh, no. I'm not back, girl. I'm <laughs> not. I'm not back, girl. My name is Caroline. You're not playing it right. Oh, God, shut the door. Kill anyone within a six foot radius. Holy hostage situation, Batman. Okay. This kid needs to stop the Batman stuff. How'd you get here? We Ubered. I've been Ubering all over Jersey today, same as you, Jake. Uber's really made being a killer doll so much easier. I never thought I would ever hear Chucky promote Uber. Well, why are you doing this? There were 72 of me on that truck. I was going to take over the world and I would have gotten away with it too if it weren't for you meddling kids. Okay, Scooby-Doo, relax. I'm going to kill every last one of you. Right, bro. Wait, exactly how many of you are left? Enough to make this worth the sacrifice. Oh no, there's still heaps left. Andy is dead. And Kyle? They're both dead. I don't believe you. Yeah, I don't either. They, they aren't dead. Any minute now. Uh, Chucky, you're stalling. Just blow them all up right now. You've wiped out four people. And then just take Lexi down. Oh, you're dead. You can't. Anyways, wiping out four at once is better than, f like, f***ing this plan up. I just want to say I'm not advocating for blowing up children, but if I was Chucky, he, he should be a bit smarter than this. God, I love my job. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Holy smokes, Batman, that was close. What's this kid doing? The answer to that question is not very much anymore. Think of the birthdays, the ball games. <laughs> did you, did you just blow up a fucking child? Oh my god! <laughs> Pam and Larry were his foster parents. Dude, Jake's gonna get shipped off to another family. Is every episode a different family for Jake? You and your friends have denied Gary his life. I think it is important to point out. They're children too. Yeah, so juvie. They're going to juvenile jail. They have been through so much already this past year. Where are we going now? I swear to God, if this is a military camp, I'm going to fucking blow myself up. 
Catholic school. Okay, so it's a religious jail? It's a not just jail. It's not funny. Wait, guys, why does this place look so familiar? Because we were here in Child's Play 3! This used to be the Burlington home for wayward boys. Remember? Charles Lee Ray lived here when he was our age. Oh, shit! Oh, okay! So, I mean, we don't need to take care of Captain Hook because he's already gone. That's, that's a solid connection. I really like that. Alright, so we're dealing with the plate. I told you not to do that ever again, and you just did it. Good morning. I'm Sister Ruth. And get down and give me 25 right now! Welcome to Incarnate Lord. Do you know why you're here? Yeah, we blew up a child. Is this like a kids' bop version of like a religious song? Well, talk about express delivery because he was there five minutes later. I, I can't believe they just blew a child up like that. All right, two. He blew himself up. He's never done anything like that before. Well, fucking dirt. <laughs> if he'd done something like that before, he wouldn't be here. That house looks extremely familiar. Is that the house from, um, Herogasm? From the boys? Oh god, what have we done? We went too hard last night, didn't we? Men oh, menopause! Damn, oh. You know what? We should just pause in general. Oh my god, I love that shot. Oh my god, I love that shot. Good morning, sweet face. Rise and shine. What have you done to her? Why have you dressed her up? I didn't mean to disturb you. <laughs> I was just... Why have you dressed her up like a Disney princess? <laughs> Milo. Hey, that's blue tack. Are you happy? Are you as happy as you made me? Yeah, what do you think she's gonna do? Give you a thumbs up? She hasn't even got fucking arms now. Somebody woke up on the wrong side of bed this morning. <laughs> that's actually impossible for her to do because she can't roll. <laughs> she can't move in her bed anymore. Look around. Everybody says Jennifer Tilly has impeccable taste. You're not Jennifer Tilly. Another reason why you can never leave. <laughs> She's insane. I need to speak with him. That's such a cool dynamic. The like blood switch. <laughs> I ate it all. What the fuck is this? <laughs> How did he do that? One of the other clones. I'm gonna see you all riding in the crowd. I got a question. How do you like itch your nose? Or do anything? <laughs> I command you release this child, be gone. Wait, 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 wait. What? Wait, wait, what? Why is he here? This is the gospel of the Lord. Uh, yeah, sure. Why is Devin Sawyer another character? Does Don Mancini just like working with him that much? He just recast him? Or is this another brother? Peace be with you. Hi, I'm Nadine. Nadine? Or nah, my name is Dean. Like, hey, you're Christy, right? Nah, Dean. <laughs> You're a heathen too? Oh no, I'm Catholic. But I sinned this morning. I can't take communion again until I make my confession to Father O'Malley. What did you do? Is she gonna be crazy? She seems like she'll be crazy. That's Trevor. The altar boy? Trust me. Trevor. He's evil. Oh, well, his name is Trevor. And if you've ever been around someone named Trevor, they are notoriously evil. Size four. 
Zero. Not here, you're not. <laughs> I have to wear this every day. Is Lexi in a, like, edgy era? Take all the makeup off your face. You look like Madonna and not the good one. Oh, God. If it's Madonna today, we need to talk about that. Why does she look like a Kardashian? I don't understand. You're underweight. Thank you. It's all the podcast gear he had to get rid of before he entered the school. <laughs> Uh, Devin, you cannot bring a Shure 7 SMB into the school, okay? We haven't even got computers to record on. We received a new donation this morning for your toy drive. I have PTSD from these boxes. I legit see a shape that size and I go, I, I'm, I know what that is. Do not open it. Don't you see him? Our Lord's image plain as day right here in this doll's face. Oh, no. You do not think... Chucky is God. Do you have a history of mental illness? Yes. yes. <laughs> Make sure you leave your door open if your male friends are in your room. Don't worry, we're all perfectly safe here when it comes to Jake and Devin. Oh. Why would you say that here? They are against same-sex relationships, dipshit. Do not mention that. I'd actually prefer the bed closer to the door. I need to be close to the bathroom on account of my bladder condition. Oh my God. Nadine is literally me. No fraternizing in the girls' rooms. No exceptions. Oh no, there's no problem, dude. We are gay for each other. <gasps> I think we should keep us on the down low around here. Fuck that. Look, Catholics aren't exactly Something down with the bad. gays. Exactly. We do not like sucking dick here or hearing about it. I've never been friends with someone so glam before. Oh my god. I love her. I love Nadine. You're just naturally glam. Oh. No. I would be her friend. How long have you been here? Since seventh grade. My parents couldn't control me. Really? I'm a little worried about her. I don't know if she's like a crazy freak or not. Why are you here, Lexi? I'll tell you my secrets if you tell me yours. She's like a fairy. Like a physical embodiment of a fairy. I'll tell you my secrets if you tell me yours. Skips away. <laughs> that's, that's a fairy you're talking to. You know Trevor? Knock off Draco Malfoy. What? He doesn't even look anything like Draco Malfoy. What are you talking? He looks more like crab. Hey, did you know he was born with only one testicle? <laughs> oh. um, or so he told me in fourth grade. And you promised you'd never tell. Oops. She uh, accidentally dropped the ball. Uh, <laughs> For what it's worth, I'm not the same person as I was back then. Oh, he's had room to grow. Just not where it matters. <laughs> Everyone's talking about it, all those murders. Dating a deranged killer and that poor soul taken in your own home. Peace be with you. Dude, we can't kill the old nun. <laughs> She's been here for what, like maybe 50, 60 years? Hi, I'm Chucky. Wanna play? Not particularly. She's busy working, Chucky. Oh, are we gonna give her a heart attack? Really? Just looking at me is scary enough to give you a heart attack? Like Child's Play 3 with the military commander guy. It's just old people, you shouldn't scare them. Imagine living your whole life outright and then dying seeing that standing on a fucking bench. I'm Chucky. Wanna pray? Oh, Shut the f up. Wanna pray? Wanna pray? That's that's something I would say. I didn't even think about that. Damn it, that's good. Why don't we take an Instagram story of it? She was probably like a week or two away from retirement and that little thing got her. This is why I hate him. Could I have your attention, please? Nope. Idle hands are the devil's playground. Oh. <laughs> okay, I haven't seen that movie, but that's a good reference. Well played. <laughs> I do love how Father Bryce's approach is, yeah, so, so she died in there, but we need to learn. Education is the top priority here at this school, so f*** her. Let's get educated. If I never bought the fucker at the yard sale in the first place, none of this would have happened. Yep. Yeah, exactly. And then some other little deranged psychopath like 
Caroline would have bought it or something. I know your history. Dr. Mixer filled me in. Dr. Mixer? Is he like a DJ or something? The fuck? Now I'm gonna hit him where it hurts. <laughs> Why was Jennifer Tilly in a movie with Jim Carrey? I have so many Jim Carrey movies I need to watch, but what the hell is that one? At the rate you're going, you're gonna lose this house. I know you went through all of Jennifer Tilly's Simpsons money. <laughs> Wait a sec, was Jennifer Tilly in The Simpsons? Who the f She doesn't play Marge or anything. She played Barney or Mo. That's news to me. Jennifer Tilly and the Simpsons. Okay. My darling Glenn and Glenda are coming by this weekend for their birthday celebration. <coughs> it's either the ball gag or the chloroform. Your choice. Chloroform. Huh? Uh, I don't. I don't want to be seen with a ball gag in my mouth. <laughs> Be recorded, thank you. Even her ball gags are pretty. What the hell? How do you get a ball gag that's like aesthetically pleasing to look at? Hello? Hello? Oh my god. Yeah, this is the boy's house. Did you guys take this property over after like love love sausage? How how did you get past the gate? I, I, I climbed over the wall. We took this over after Herogasm, didn't we? The price was probably very low. You could say the property uh was Tilly, have you ever heard of Nika Pierce? Nika Pierce. Uh-oh, uh-oh. I met her when I visited that mental hospital. <laughs> oh yeah, speaking of the mental, I was actually a patient there. Yes, Mr. Wheeler. Can I use the restroom? Why do you need to rest? You're doing nothing anyway. You're exactly five minutes. Five minutes? You two can wait. Sorry, I got really distracted. The bird just like flew out of the bath and then was like, just like bouncing around and I got excited. Ah, you fucking asshole. Really, Mr. Wheel? <gasps> oh no! We have different methods of teaching lessons now. To the choke! <laughs> Sorry, Matilda reference. Here, you don't have to be an orphan anymore. You can choose to be a son again of the Heavenly Father. Uh, okay. Do you think Father Bryce would say that heaven would be the final destination? <laughs> Son, I want you to flip through these pages until you find a passage that speaks to you. You ain't gonna read this book. And also, what the hell would Chucky be thinking currently when you're talking about this right in front of him? This is yours now. It's time for you to find a passage that speaks to you. You guys got Hunger Games or something like that instead? You can't just leave me here. Do the work, Jake. Uh, while I got you, actually, why do you look like my dad? What happened? Yes, Mr. Evans. I was just wondering where Jake is. Ah, uh, he's dead. In heaven, like he's in heaven now. That's dumb. He's just gonna roll away, idiot. He's gonna be gone, cause you are stupid. Yeah, dumbass. Why would you smack? Gotcha. What? <laughs> Did, <laughs> what? He ran up the chimney like Santa Claus? What? Where's the doll? You will not believe me when I tell you he actually got up, took a photo, and ran up the chimney. Why am I being expelled? <laughs> Read it to me. Loud and clear. I have a feeling he's going to be like a really corrupt, like, priest. Not that- hang on. Hang on. Not that kind of corrupt, but like a power-hungry, controlling guy. He locked me in there with a Bible and Chucky. What happened? Now, Father Bryce didn't believe me when I told him. I don't know if you will. He literally ran up the chimney. He took my picture and he ran up the chimney. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Did he even try to hurt me or anything? Yeah, true. He didn't try to attack you or anything. He just took a photo and ran off. Maybe he's like social anxiety Chucky or something. He just doesn't want to socialize or anything, so he just runs away. I steal things sometimes. Oh, that's not even that bad. Help me move this in front of the door. Why would we be moving the dresser in front of the door? Because I sleepwalk. Cool. <laughs> I love Nadine. How did Lexi not recognize a flash go off just then? 
Oh, she's gonna see Chucky and freak like a bad trip. Uh, what drugs? What drugs are we taking, by the way? Just curious. Be so jarring. They found the dog in the stairwell. He was a ginger just like me, and he was just so adorable. And I couldn't help myself. Can you listen to me? What's going on in there? Nothing. <laughs> that drawer in front of the door is going to raise serious red flags. Bathroom. Ah, okay. I see what she's doing. Dropping a keyword for Jake and Devin. I was scared of never seeing my old bathroom again. I would have said I'm a frequent urinator in bed and I had a bad dream where I didn't urinate myself one night and I got scared because it's just not normal. And then I would have purposely pissed on the floor. Ah! He's attacking now. Oh! <laughs> A solid kick! Get the fuck off me! Yeah, open his like Snapchat or something. See who he has streaks with. Oh, come on. The selfies? The selfies, dude? This is social media influencer, Chucky. Does he sleep? I have no idea. So does he like go to the bathroom? God, I hope not. <laughs> it's like it's like Ned when um Ned found out Peter was Spider-Man. <laughs> He's asking him all the questions. Why didn't you kill him? Look, think about it. Ever since he got here, Chucky's been acting weird. And every chance he got to kill one of us, he ran away instead. Because it's not his job. Exactly. This Chucky isn't an assassin. He's a scout. Oh! He, he's collecting information for someone. Oh. <laughs> Sounds like he has um Tiffany's ball gag in his mouth. Birthdays. Jesus Christ. They're just there, aren't they? Any closer and you'd break my monitors. They're here. The twins are here. Ah! <laughs> oh my God. 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 Hi. Remember me? Detective Sam Gavin. I'm sorry to bother you again, Miss Tilly, but something's just not adding up. Go away. We were expecting someone else. We were expecting like a little doll made in Japan. Deep down, I, I always knew this day would come. Oh, this come. guy's so dead. <laughs> Let me guess, classic Tiffany throat slit. Actually, yeah. Yeah, it's just a classic move. It's what she does all the time. <laughs> okay, so how, how do we plan on cleaning that up? We've just slit a detective's throat in our house. <laughs> Who the frick is this? We got Barbie rocking up to our house? Mr. Bean in a pink wagon? <laughs> I wasn't watching her clean the floor then. So nice to see your sweet faces. Why would you not show me? What? Are they human? They seem human. Well, I mean, they seem human. They have kind of human skin. Where's the doll, Jake? I have no idea. He's out selling cookies because he's a scout. Pray for forgiveness. He put his glasses back on and he's like, Oh shit, you're not even Jake. I couldn't even see properly. <laughs> Father Bryce recording a Chucky reaction without his glasses on. Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be watching more Chucky. I'm pretty sure I'm looking at my camera. The Colonel. That's it. He knows the 11 herds of spices. Get him! Let's do it. Oh, Jesus. Oh, stop. Sick fuck, he's enjoying it. Of course he is. Why would he not enjoy pain? If you're going to pull my hair... At least tell me I'm pretty. <laughs> oh, you kinky little bastard, okay. How is Mayor Cross, by the way? I wouldn't know. Uh-oh. Right. Maybe I should call her former Mayor Cross. She just lost the election. Yes! She lost! I was crushed when I heard the news, too. I wasn't. <laughs> I'm exhilarated now. Have a blessed day. Why was he giving off, like, postman aesthetic then? Have a great day. Here's your mail. Hey. 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 
I actually really like the look of the doll this season. Every time he has an iteration, whether it's a movie or a show, he looks completely different. You didn't have any clean socks? Oh! Don't be a problem for you much longer. Oh! Well, if we had to use one of the other socks, it wouldn't have even bent around your mouth. It would have snapped it off! I'm like the MVP of serial murder. Shut up. I've killed more people than you have Insta followers. Okay, put the gag back in his mouth. I killed your mother! Hell, I even killed my own mother! <laughs> yeah! Woo! Wait, Kevin, what are you doing? He was ins He was insulting me! He was testing my patience! Hi. Holy Lord, give me strength. What's wrong with Nadine? <laughs> She seems precious. What is it you need, child? <laughs> oh, I need to confess. Confessional's closed for the day. It is? That's right, I'll just confess here. No, please. That's no problem. Um, I I'll come back tomorrow. Just talk to her, man. See you tomorrow, Nadine. Is she just too much? Like one of those friends that you have over for like 20 minutes and they just stay for four hours? Re reprogram him. Like, brainwashing. Mm. Put him in like Spanish mode or something. I mean, it might work. And I bet you know how to do it too, because oh. see, we're super into that one podcast in MK Ultra. Oh my God, he's podcast. We can't record our podcast from here. What happened to our podcast equipment and everything? Is it canceled? Chucky's like, what the f*** are you talking about? Yeah, I'm thinking the same thing, Charles. You didn't even get a dedicated episode. I got everything I could find. She literally walks around like a fairy. <laughs> I'm really excited. I've never been to a sleepover with boys before. <laughs> or girls. <laughs> She's precious mad. All right. Stage one. Oh my God. What the f- That's like a full brainwash. <laughs> Pass the popcorn. He likes it. Put on Toy Story. You might get PTSD when he hears Andy's coming. That's hurting my eyes. That's making my eyes water. What the frick are we watching now? Like a, a Bridgeco music stream? <laughs> so he's fixed? No, he's he's ready for stage two. Stage two? We're gonna put Bluey on or something now, aren't we? That's stage two. Chucky wants to watch the nine o'clock news. Oh! That's a reference to the first child's play. <laughs> what a throwback. No. Oh, why is it so clear? I know it's meant to be vomit, but why does it look like, why does, why does it look like cum? <laughs> yeah. Yummers. This is essentially what parents do with iPad kids. Just chuck them in front of an iPad and they just sit there and just How, how did how did Nadine sleep like that? There's a bed right there as well. You gonna wake up and like, oh my god, be back, be back. Hey, I like to be hugged. Hi, I'm Chucky. Wanna play? Um, um, no. How many Chuckies are there, and what are you planning? I don't know. I don't know. I think you might have wiped his brain too much. We didn't brainwash him. We brain bleached him. You let him cook too long, actually. You fried his brain. The ropes came loose during My Little Pony. But I didn't want to bother anyone. <laughs> uh -huh. I'm hungry. You know what? I'm done. Devin, wait, come on. Okay, well, um... I have to talk to him. Can you watch Chucky for me? Devin was an accurate representation then of the hardcore Chucky fans then. Seeing like what happened to Chucky then made him good. What? I'm leaving. What, what'd they do to Chucky? No need to worry about me. I took four years of Krav Maga. What the frick is Krav Maga? Can you please just talk to me? There's nothing to talk about. Yes, there is. The thing to talk about is where the frick is Glenn and Glenda? How can you tease that at the end of episode two and then it doesn't even happen so far this episode? So, sorry, I'm annoyed. What if he could help us? What if he kills you, Jake? What am I supposed to do then? Cry. 
Just promise me. Well, for now. That you won't do anything to Chucky, okay? Nope. Sorry, I'm not promising that at all. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh no! If there's the one thing you don't want to be caught doing in a religious school, it's... it's that. Look, Sue, what are you doing in the drugs? Do you know when the nurse will be back? I am the nurse. That doesn't answer my question. But, can I have some drugs? First I find out you have a drug problem and now you're scoping out the infirmary. What do you want, Trevor? I just want to help you. You learn so much in here. He just wants to have fun. He's a quirky little boy. He's starting to get on my nerves a little bit though. I mean, let there be a thousand blossoms bloom as far as I'm concerned. You know, but I ain't spending any time on it. You think this place is bad, you fuck up. We'll show you how much worse it can get. Oh my god. I don't know where you can get condoms. Oh. <laughs> Trevor Kane. <laughs> That's such a good tactic. But if it makes you feel any better, my situation here couldn't possibly get worse. A bully taking on a bully is so much fun. Because they try to outdo each other and they know what to do to do it. Mr. Evans, I thought you were sick. No, I'm gay. Oh, and sick. I'm also... <coughs> <clears throat> Sick. Shouldn't be out of bed if that's the case. This is gonna be uncomfortable. I should get back to bed. Or maybe the feeling isn't biological. What? <laughs> See? Father Brass, I'm unwell. Sometimes the actions of others weigh heavy on our souls. Oh, get to the point, Four Eyes, okay? I know. Fix the tie and tuck in the shirt. And s s stop kissing boys! <laughs> My dad got me my cat, Mr. Pasta, so I'd be less lonely. I really miss him. He really is like the brother I never had. He's really cuddly, but he also cat. likes his alone time. Mr. Pasta sounds genuinely cool. <laughs> What's with the Minecraft music, though? Calm down, Nadine. It's Chucky. At One Direction. Mm. <laughs> A One Direction line? What the fuck? Okay, that was kind of cute. I'm not gonna- I'm not gonna fall in love with a doll today. That's just not on my list of things to do. Father Bryce said that if we don't have the doll back on his desk by the end of the day, then there's going to be trouble. Father Bryce can screw himself. Oh my. This is fun. Not for Father Bruce. Uh, Bryce. Uh, he can call himself whatever he wants. Where do dolls come from? That's a good question. Okay, so when a mummy doll and a daddy doll likes each other very much, they get manufactured in a different country. What's your favorite class? Napping. How do you get your hair so shiny? Leaving conditioner. Do you have a cat? Yes, I do, and I love him very much. Do you have a boyfriend? I did have a boyfriend. What is a boyfriend? Junior, junior, junior. I'm just thinking of Brad Dourif in like the booth just doing that voice. It's so funny. Bless me, Father, for I have sinned. It's been three days since my last confession. Lexi's awesome, but I think she's addicted to drugs. Actually, I know it. You can't just out people like that, I don't think. They're meant to be your confessions, not, hey, the roommate I have is doing drugs. Trevor is still the worst. I know I'm not supposed to wish ill on people, but I wouldn't hate it if had to sneeze every time he had cereal and Cheerios just flew out. Interesting wish. Maybe if Hold you Hold on, forget. I don't want to lose my train of thought. Oh! Is Nadine like a human equivalent of a newsletter? It just gets sent out every three days and it's like, oh, please, I need to unsubscribe from this because it's getting annoying. Oh! Oh no! Really? In, in the booth? Father O'Malley? You okay? Yeah, okay, Nadine. Yeah, I'm in a bit of trouble right there, Nadine. <coughs> oh god, I actually choked myself. So what's my penance? Ah, 400 Hail Marys. 400? <laughs> Aye! What's that mean, by the way? Do I have to say Hail Mary 400 times? As I said, I'm not religious, so I don't know what that means. What version of... That's not good guy, Chuck. That's that one that got delivered, I think. 
He loves hearing confessions that much that he's going to spend the rest of his life doing it because he's not going anywhere else. Jesus Christ, the Percocet addiction is fucking top tier with Lexi. Oh, no, my drugs! The hardest part of quitting drugs is the trip that comes 15 minutes later. Oh God, not good guy Chucky. The good Chucky's out and about, is he? Ironically, that's not good. Lexi? She hasn't OD'd, has she? Oh, please. Uh, not please, like, can that happen? Nadine, don't crawl under the stalls. <laughs> what are you doing? Why well, she was dropping a turd and you're just like, hi. Everything is up to here. And I'm doing my best to stay afloat, but it's impossible. And I hate when Jake and Devin fight. And I hate that my mom can't just be normal. And I hate Trevor and his dumbass face. Oh, I fucking hate that doll. Me too. We all do. We all... Okay, get in line. I wish all days could be great. Aww. It sucks that they can't. I wish all days could be great. I can be a friend. And good friends can make it through anything. Oh! <laughs> I just want to give her a freaking hug, man! Want to get out of here? Oh. I have a stash of Oreos in our room. Oreos? Yeah, Nadine. Oh my god. I didn't think I'd almost cry over an Oreo conversation, but here I am. <laughs> I'm such a softie. <laughs> I'm such a softy. That's not the good version of Chucky. I don't know what version that is. That looks like the version of Chucky that hasn't had a shower in three years. Hi, I'm Chucky. Want a shower? I like to be healthy. <laughs> I totally think we're about to see Trevor die here because Nadine wished for it earlier. Except he's picked the wrong time of day to go for a bowl of cereal. Oh, you bastard. You're planting drugs on her? What the fuck? Why do you go flying? Oh! I get that he has the strength of a man, but come on. Oh, I never skip arm day. <laughs> Shut up. Oh dear. Sweet godmother of Hail Mary Jesus. Yeah, you're gonna have to do another 8,000 Hail Marys. Oh, where is Chucky? Did you give him the brace? No, no, I, I left him with Lexi. Uh, heads up. It could be John Kramer on the floor. Let's just kick him or something to make sure. Inspection! Inspection! Now! Inspection! You have to give me two weeks notice. It's in like the rental agreement. You're not gonna get caught out, but I just don't know how the hell you're gonna hide this. I believe wholeheartedly <laughs> that this is not gonna go down well at all. I'm sorry, I saw the joke there and I just, I just had to take it. Headache? All better. Uh, I would leave the room and cringe because that is embarrassing. Hello! Professor Elephant and I'm Professor Giraffe and we are elephants. Together we are talking animals. Okay, good inspection. Thanks. Sister Ruth, I really need to know. And oh my gosh, what about brain eating amoebas? Aren't they the fucking Nintendo Wii things? Amiibos or something? Wait, where are you going? Away from this. <laughs> Is Devon whole thing this season just giving up? I'm leaving this situation. It's too much. See, Devon, that's the sixth time you've just walked out. Jake? Oh, no. We're not going to kill good oh, Chucky, Jake's are we? On my list, all right. <laughs> what the f- Why the f*** is he talking? Why is he ripped? I don't usually eat cream puffs. But today what the f***? <laughs> Why is he jacked? Why the <laughs> Why is he jacked? What? Why is Chucky on steroids? Oh. <laughs> I didn't expect to be like Jim Bro Chucky at all ever in my life, but uh oh.
<laughs> okay. Glenn. Glenda. Chucky, we're trying to get everything on your rider. This thing is like 12 pages long. What the hell is this? You moron. Ch what? Walnuts what is happening? I... I have not had an edible. I don't know what's going on still. We're live. Oh. <laughs> Hello. Hi. What are we doing? Nice to see you again. I hope you're enjoying the new season of my hit show. Thanks, baby. Care to spill any details? Yeah, tell us! Yeah, tell us! <laughs> anyway. Dog, you left us speechless. All in the name of love. It's actually kind of scary how successful his talk show would actually be. What are you doing on the floor? And what the hell is that? Why are they human? Where's the doll? Happy birthday. Thank you. Happy birthday, sweet face. Are they played by the same person? It looks like the same person. It's your special day. Why don't you two take a load off? I want them as dolls, man! <laughs> Not humans! I guess it costs less budget-wise to just have humans playing them. Gotta be on your best behavior here, mummy. Mum, mummy, so. mum, mummy, uh, sorry, mum, mummy. We're great. That's wonderful, I've, I've been worried. That makes three of us. I'm pretty sure that's the same person playing Glenn and Glenda. He says you're running out of money. I'm doing fine. She's got that bloody Simpsons money, remember? <laughs> mum, who the hell is Nika Pierce? Well, first of all, you've got her first name incorrect. Glenda poses an incommodious question. What the frack does that word mean? I met her at one of those charity events I go to. She was a very sad and very unhealthy mentally. Well, that's not good because I like to be healthy. <laughs> I don't care. I, I In season one, no one acknowledged that joke and I liked it. Did I ever hurt someone? Hurt? Did you? I can't recall. Oh. I think you did. Yeah. Okay, yeah, you did. It just feels like I'm the one who did it. You're a murderer, and you should be in jail. He called me shit face. That, that wasn't me, I promise. <laughs> I promise I'm not your dad. For your birthday. He was supposed to be here an hour ago. I told you my improv class went late. You're a butler? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, tonight I am. Because <laughs> of improv? Well played. So suspicious. Not everything has to be an unpleasant surprise. Surprise! What the hell is this? Okay, oh, I'm so, I'm so surprised. But isn't it nice to see everybody? I mean, Auntie Gina, Uncle Pants. Uncle Pants? Is that his name? Uncle Pants. What happens if he wears shorts? Sutton, I paid you back. Sam, what is going on? I don't fucking know. I've been busy. Doing what? Being busy, obviously. It's her go-to thing. She says she's busy, but she doesn't know why. <laughs> Just tell us what's going on. What the hell is that? Oh my god, it's the Book of Mormon cast now too. Hello, my name is Elder Cunningham. Have a hug for your long-lost little sister? What? what? <laughs> Why does it actually look like it could be Jennifer Tilly's sister? <laughs> Me five minutes after I wake up. Ew! Champagne. We'd love some. We'd love some too. Oh, oh what, Ollie? Everyone's wanting champagne that much, they should just rename it to Champagne. <laughs> I'm sorry. To family. To family. To family. To... Uh, yep. Yeah. Aunt Meg. Shut up, Meg. <laughs> He said it! He said it! Mom always said you were the older one. And is that true? Oh. <laughs> no. Well, she definitely looks like the old sister. Hmm. Oh, so where is she anyway? She even kind of has the voice down pat. Good casting for like a younger sister of Jennifer Tilly's. What are you doing? You're supposed to be downstairs. I was improvised. Well, don't. <laughs> I was improvising. I 
seem to be entering my garbo era. Not everything has to be an error. Just because you're eating healthy does not mean you're in your healthy era. You are just eating. So, um, Meg, um, yeah. Shut up, Meg. You've been dodging me for 24 years. Clearly, I did something Ooh. to offend you and Jen, I miss Well, it now I forgive you. Okay, uh, it's been a long 24 years, but thanks. You know, ever since you did that stupid Chucky movie, it's like, you that's when you stop. Seed of Chucky is not dumb. To be fair, I did stop talking to people when I started doing the Chucky movies too. Either that or people stopped talking to me. <laughs> what the hell are you two supposed to be anyway? I beg your pardon? Oh no, dude. We're improvising too hard now. Why don't you drag yourself into the 21st century, asswad? Language evolves, tank breath. Please show my nibblings the simple respect they deserve. They're here. Your nibblings. What? Yeah. Other acceptable gender neutral terms for niece and nephew are niefling, chibling, and zipkit. What? Nibblings? That's what I get from the fucking cupboard when I'm hungry. Guard this door, you moron! Not to insult my guests! Well, what are you hiding in there anyway? If you must know, my girlfriend. Amputee with a ball gag in her mouth. It's a whole. Th I, oops. Ah! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what the hell is happening? Where's everyone gone? <gasps> Surprise! <laughs> they, just, they just surprise her again. Oh, uh, he's improvising. I, th I, I, I think he's, I think he's dead. He's dead? He's improvising. Is this going to be a game of like Cluedo or something? And we've got to guess who the murderer is? Because I'm pretty good at that. The first victim is the butler. You've invited the right guy to the guess who the killer is party. Now he's Murdered. Not really. He's just, you know, an actor. Solid oak. I can see his eyes moving from here. <laughs> <laughs> Who killed Jeeves? Sydney Prescott. <laughs> so he's a security officer. Our first clue. No, no, that that doesn't mean anything. I. I'm going to be asking all the questions from here on out. See, now, if it wasn't the security guard that was dead and it was like Glenn or Glenda, it would be Jill Roberts. <laughs> that's, that's a bad joke. Just an Emma Roberts reference there. <laughs> Joey here must have killed the poor sod in self-defense. Oh, that's so good. Bravo. We're kind of Anglophiles. What the hell does that mean? You like angles? Obtuse, acute... 90 degrees, right angle. All right, all of you are behaving very strangely and very suspiciously. So. You're behaving pretty <gasps> peculiarly yourself. Uh, I think it's the sister. I think it's the sister. All of you had multiple motives when the victim refused to honor my kid's pronouns. Oh, who would commit murder over pronoun? Murder. Honestly, you say the wrong pronoun today, and you are sentenced to death. If you know what someone's pronouns are, obviously respect them. But if you don't know them and you say the wrong thing, you literally get executed. That's ridiculous. I mean, if we killed every small-minded idiot that insulted us, half the country would be dead by now. And we wouldn't hurt a fly. Yes, exactly. God, Glenn, or Glenda, oh, Jesus, I fucked up there. Speaking. Facts. If you'll excuse me for a moment, little, little emergency. I just go do a mad shot in the toilet. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a little stressed. Oh, Jesus Christ. I thought frickin' Angela from Sleepaway Camp was crawling up behind you. <laughs> Can I tell you a secret? Sure. Yes, I, I like secrets. You know when we first met? It was, yes, yes. Saturday. What the frick? Irresistible. <gasps> I, 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 I hear that a lot. Imagine acting a scene out like this. I'd cringe so hard. No, um, 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 stop, 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 stop. Yeah, Gina, please. Can I ask you a question? Anything. She's about to get murdered. She's about to get classic throat slit. The butler, <laughs> did you kill him? Oh, uh, no mind. Uh, yes, I did actually. Mama has a surprise for you. I brought you something.
Let's do some LARPing. Let's get some fucking chain mail, some shields, some swords. Get into the full kit, roleplay wise. Buy a fucking cannonball or something. Oh, Joey, 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 it's not. Oh, no, not more. What are we doing? Gina, yeah, uh, yeah. I think she's the one to bang you. Yeah, Pablo, Pablo. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> You let me watch. No, Joey. What? <laughs> Dude, I know we're meant to be worried about Chucky, but I think we've got Cucky in the room too. If you blow me. <laughs> not now, Joey. I'm not really, really busy. Yeah. Now he's not Uncle Pants anymore. He's Uncle Shorts. I can't even get you out of the basement because we need the elevator. God, are you sure she doesn't know about this room? You don't need the elevator. Just pick her up, chuck her over your shoulder. She hasn't got arms and legs, so she should be a bit lighter. I cannot go back. I promise. You're leaving this house tonight. Where are you going to go? And what are you going to do? Go to Mexico? Catch a flight there? You can't sit in a seat properly. You're going to be overhead luggage. I want to see what she's hiding in that room. Skullduggery. Yeah, that's how we found out a couple months ago. Now sniff it. <laughs> have you ever, have you ever done that though? You take out the earring, you sniff it and you're like, oh! I think we should get out of here. Oh God, how the hell is this going to go? I, I mean, obviously well, because they're working together now. <laughs> Are you Glenn? No, I'm Glenda. <sighs> yeah, that's not Glenn. That's Glenn Durr. <laughs> she chopped off all my limbs and she's going to be trapped in here for a year. Mom's a murderer. Mom's a lesbian. <laughs> Mom's a lesbian? <laughs> oh, fuck. Ro roll her under the bed or something. <laughs> roll her under the bed. How do you think Fiona Dura feels about having to wear a ball gag for four episodes straight? Forgot this. Ah. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh no. Oh. Daddy's gonna come out to play now. I'm your dad. Oh. <laughs> Chucky. Chucky! I wanted to stay, but your mom drove me away and lied to you about it. This is all bullshit. Deep down, you know it's true. How did they actually get rid of her arms and legs, though? I got a plan, shitface. Uh-oh. What did you just call me? I always meant it affectionately. I'd rather be called shitface than face of shit. Hello, Billy. My pinky itches. Like phantom limb? That'd be so weird. Like my brain hasn't caught up to my body or something. Sometimes I feel like that too. Imagine how weird it would be to like have no limbs. How weird would that be though to just like bend your arm, but you don't have one? Do you know my dad too? Yeah, you could say that. Is he as crazy as my mom is? We can't have Glenn meet up with Chucky. It didn't, it didn't go well in Cedar Chucky. It's not gonna go well here. Who's killing them? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Dad's coming out again. You ready to kill your mom, shitface? Oh, Glenn! <laughs> oh, I'm not Nika. <laughs> they never would have agreed to kill mom. Oh, that's too bad. It's scarily true though. Glenn is a pussy. I'm glad we took that precaution because if we didn't, Glenn would have pissed himself on the floor again. How did you get in there? It no, it wasn't. It was open. Oh, it was no, oh no. <laughs> We've just wheeled her out for everyone to see. Hiya, doll. Oh, Chucky. Why don't you just die already? That's some Kingsman shit right there. What the f***? I shoot you in the head? Or the heart? Head, head, please don't damage the titties. Is she supposed to be the murderer? Because we haven't met her. It's not I don't totally fair. The... <laughs> She's supposed to be the murderer. No, no, no. Almost. Oh. Uh, uh. oh my God. <laughs> oh, now you're definitely getting shot. Okay. <laughs> Go on, Hot Wheels! Is she actually gonna get away? Roll faster! She actually gonna get out. She's gonna be free. Who the hell just pulled up? Go! 
Wheel faster! Wheel faster! Oh! <laughs> Did we just roll into the mystery machine? What was that? Andy? Andy? Nice to finally meet you. Kyle? Also, trust Kyle to wear the same bloody hat she's worn for 30 years. <laughs> they still think it's a performance. <laughs> Help us figure it all out. Please welcome one of my biggest fans, Liv Morgan. I have no idea who that is, but okay. Are you sure that's a WWE star and not a fucking star? Who do you think killed the butler? Well, I have a theory. It's always the person you least suspect. Jennifer Tilly's sister. Let's roll the tape. Just enough left. Who was it? Who was it? Who was it? Was it Glenda? I'm not bloody saying anything. I'm not I'm not saying anything. Who took the bullets out of the gun? Maggie Simpson. Oh no, sorry, she shot Mr. Burns. I knew she was seeing someone else. Uh it's not what you think. Brother, that's what they all say. Okay, it's what you think. Is that why he was called Uncle Pants? <laughs> I love her. Oh, Wrong rest in peace, Pants Man. For a dude named Uncle Pants, he had a short lifespan. <laughs> that's such a dumb joke. I think I need a hug. You like to be hugged. I like to be healthy. <laughs> Live. Can you help me out? How? Roll the tape. You're about to get killed, I think. I just want to be... What? Brutally what is, murdered by... What is happening? <laughs> you know I was only kidding. <laughs> what is going on? Sweet dreams. <laughs> This jagged blade is gonna make him scream like a little girl. <laughs> What's wrong with screaming like a little girl? It terrorizes more people. Ready? Three, two, one. Ah! <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> what the f I thought Buff Chucky started flying at the door then. How did you get to be such a wuss? I found something better than killing. Pussy. I... Don't tell me you found it in there. Oh, the, the Bible. Okay. What the fuck am I watching? You leave him alone. Face it. You're not good, Chucky. I am. I am good, Chucky. <laughs> You're supposed to be a killer, like me. See what happens when you go to the gym too many times? You just become a gym bro. There's nothing you can do, okay? Just let them take each other out. No, there is something you can do. Challenge Buff Chucky to like an arm wrestle. And then if he loses and you win, he has to kill. You give us a bad name. You're weak. That's how arm wrestling used to work. The, the loser had to off themselves. Chucky, let me help you. Oh, he's the good Chucky though. Oh, not in the gonads. He kicked him where the muscles aren't too strong. <gasps> I'm the Chucky I choose to be. Frank. Yes, queen. Uh, I've said it before, brute strength doesn't get you anywhere, all right? In this scenario, though, it gets you pinned to a door, though, so congratulations. See what I mean about that having to be open? This is a cat... <laughs> Sometimes I think the worst time to start... This is a cat's head. How did I do, coach? You did great, kid, Chucky. I'm so confused with him. There's no way there's a good Chucky. It's just not a possibility. Good Chucky, huh? Nope. Nope. There's no such thing. He's cute, but he's probably evil. 
I feel like I don't even know how to talk to you anymore. It's like I don't even know you. What are, what are you talking about? Are we going to do this while good Chucky is standing there listening? He's going to feel like his parents are breaking up again. There is no good Chucky. See? Huh? I agree. I'm team Devin here. I think he's faking it. That was awkward. That was awkward. Oh, God. I find this act of blasphemy deeply disturbing. Dude, look at his fucking six pack. <laughs> Dolls aren't meant to have six packs. Oh, not in the cupboard. What are we gonna do, Lexi? What are we gonna do about Trevor? There's no amount of Windex spray and wipe that's gonna disinfect that shit. You need to just get a whole new cupboard. You don't look so good. I'm worried about you. What do you mean? There's a dude in the cupboard with a hole through his chest. None of us are okay. Fuck me, Dean. Hey, don't be mean to her. Don't, I'm going to the bathroom. Lexi needs to shoot up. She hasn't got her supplier anymore because uh, buff Chucky's dead, so she needs to find her roids. <laughs> Have you ever had a pet that was your bestie? Currently do, yet. I had five gerbils. What? <laughs> what is that? Mongolian gerbil. Am I pronouncing that right? I swear she said gerbil. 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 So, it's like a little rat. Why is it called a gerbil when it's literally just like a quarter-sized rat? I'm not gonna lie, it is, it is kind of cute though, actually. <laughs> it is kind of cute, actually, though. Gerbil ugly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now that's what I'm talking about. That looks like if you took a male's nutsack and put two beads on it. This gerbil's had enough of being a gerbil. It's trying to hang itself. Hey, buddy, you want to, you've got to go a little bit higher than that. What the fuck? <laughs> it's a Mexico gerbil. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting too sidetracked. I got one each birthday, and soon after, I would get home from school, and my mom would tell me that they ran away. Oh no, mom got rid of them because they're, they're mice. I would feel like my world was over. That's how the gerbils felt too. Can you open the door now? <laughs> she just wants you to be her gerbil. I'm sorry. I think to make up for it, we've got to buy her a six gerbil. Okay. Okay. Oh, I want a hug from Nadine like that. You're trying to kill me? <laughs> yeah, she was just trying to picture you as one of her gerbils. Do you believe me, don't you? Mr. Pasta would have a lot to say about this whole mess. <laughs> Mr. Pasta. What would he say? Spaghetti. <laughs> don't be silly, Lexi. Cats can't talk. Uh, yes they can. Yes they can. Yes they can. Um, what? We need to talk. We are already talking. She responded, just talk. I can't help it. I just like to murder people. Is that so bad? I yes. <laughs> yes. Just act like so you keeping a prisoner who you dismembered was normal? Stop putting the TV remote back on the on the table. She'll just pick it up and press play again. Let's just start with who Nika is and what happened. If you must know. Here's seven movies and a season. <laughs> Stop lying to me! Don't use that tone to me. I may be a murderess, but I'm still your mother. Okay, mom. Who's Tiffany Valentine? Yeah, which one's worse, the murderer or being their mum. I'm out of here. Enjoy the show, sweet face. She just goes to another room and just streams her movie still. <laughs> she legit can't get enough of herself. What? Why is the door open? It's just Trevor, he walks out, he goes, oh, it's actually fine. He just punched just to the left of my heart. Maybe it's a miracle? Where the f has he gone? There's no way he got up and kept walking. You saved us back there. And you're basically my hero. Oh my god. Why don't you just kiss him on the mouth then? My sweet baby boy. Uh, what's going on? Uppies! <laughs> Wait, what do you mean Trevor's gone? 
as a knot in the place we left him. Ah, oh, that's what it means. Miss sweet baby, that mean, mean man isn't ever going to hurt you ever again. <laughs> Aww. We don't know how many Chuckies are out there. What if one found Devin? I don't even want to think about how many Chuckies are out there. It's the show's way of going... We're never going to run out of material or storylines ever because we have 5,000 of them out there. Who, who would take Trevor's body though? An ally? God. I've given you the benefit of the doubt time and again. Your particular brand of wickedness is going to need a firmer hand to be corrected. You're absolutely right, father. Brother, he's just gay. Relax. <laughs> I have asked you repeatedly not to interrupt me when I'm in session with the students. My time here is precious. Just couldn't wait. Apologies, Miss McGonagall. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna be put in the religious newsletter this week. Sister Catherine, no smart tongue today. No, just regular tongue. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Weren't you the one that recommended these violent kids be admitted here in the first place? Is she the therapist? Yes. This is a display of violence. Really? What gave you that fucking impression? I did not become a sister to validate or answer to your fits of self-righteousness. Well, I didn't become a brother to not bully my younger sister, because that's just like tradition. Those medieval relics look good in this office. Maybe next time we can burn a kid at the stake. Oh! I like her. The buff Chucky's like, hey guys, now that you're done, do you guys just mind taking these out? Also, how heavy do you think that doll is considering he's like the heavier, buffer version? Sister Ruth, get rid of that abomination. Sister Ruth was looking at buff Chucky like it was one of her Tinder swipes. Oh, good shot. Or should I say godly shot? <laughs> so... Meg. Shut it, Meg. Did you enjoy the party? It was certainly dramatic. I would say that the party was killer. You know, once I caught them trying to board a plane to England. They are such a bonded pair. Certainly can be a handful. <laughs> I want to see your boobs. Send me. You remember that time in high school when we mm. snuck out to meet with the Dean brothers? Yes. Um, yes. What What were their names? Um, uh, 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 Dean and and Dean. We are different people. I want to be Jennifer Tilly. Yeah, it's not Jennifer Tilly. It's Tiffany. It's just easy to say Jennifer Titty. Oh, the top. <laughs> You have a check for me? I want a Tiffany doll so bad. You promised me chocolate. Chocolate. Oh. Chocolate! Chocolate! You say chocolate! Chocolate. I remember when they first invented chocolate. So I've made you money playing online poker and voicing Bonnie on Family Guy. <laughs> <laughs> I love that they made that a reference. Meg is here now. Dude, do not lean forward like that. My God. He wasn't in the closet when we came back from the bathroom. Wait, maybe someone was cleaning up for the other Chucky? Wait, Trevor was in the closet. Damn, I wouldn't have picked it. You should look through this again. See if you missed anything. Imagine you just see like a Chucky nude or something. Oh God. Oh, why'd I say that? Why'd I say that? I sure hope you find Trevor. I think he's in on it. Who would do something like that? You! <laughs> You're basically responsible for killing Jake's whole family. But for some reason, he doesn't seem to care about any of that. That wasn't his fault. That was a different Chucky. He's not like that anymore. Okay, but logically, right? Think of this hypothetically. If some dude murdered your whole family, Aww. right? And then there was a doppelganger that looked exactly like the same, would you feel okay with the doppelganger? No. I have to go. No, Chuck, wait, you can't. <laughs> oh, great. Now I've given him a temper tantrum. Thanks, Devin. You've upset the two-year-old. Appreciate it. Now we're going to have to try and give him, like, bottle and put him back to sleep and... Frank, man. Did I really do those things? Oh, no, that was a different you. 
Like that other me, the, the big guy. Yeah. I'm trying to read him so much. I feel like you're being manipulated again. Where did we come from? <sighs> Plastic pussy. I don't know if I can say that. <laughs> so I could hurt you. No, no. I shouldn't be around anyone. Oh God. Give him headphones and an iPad. So you and Jake? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're still gay. We're still, <laughs> we're still together. Even when we thought Chucky was dead, Jake, I mean, none of us ever saw each other ever. Maybe Chucky's not the only problem. Everyone's depressed this season. Hey, dude, just stop being sad, all right? That's how we can be happy. <laughs> what? Okay, so what are we... He's a messenger, he's a scout, Chucky. Just like looking through my mom's Instagram. Wait, wait, go back. What if you actually find like a dick pic or something? I don't think you want to be looking through the gallery. Go to the next one. I reckon he's in on it. He's just conning you all. We have to get out there. Maybe the trail will lead to more dolls. Or this colonel. Maybe we can take him out for good. Should we tell Jake? You go to his like Google search history and you find how big is Tiffany Valentine's boobs. <laughs> Be my godfather, Jake. <laughs> what? Oh, uh, what? Yeah, sure. What? Do you... Want to be the godfather? I would love to. Oh my god, he's got a mummy and a daddy. What? Do you renounce Satan and his works and all his service and all his pride? He starts short circuiting now. He's like, you know, let's just skip the rest. You get the gist. Dad, what's Christ? Okay, buddy. I'm just gonna. You might want to warn him. This could actually sting him. Amen. No? I thought he was gonna like bug out or something. He was like, like start tweaking. Wow! What a feeling! And it was so easy! You should try a shower out and see what you think if you like that amount of water on your head. Yeah. You just can't keep a buff guy down. You push them over and they just bounce back up because there's so much muscle. I would be officially shitting my nun pants right now. The Lord has risen! I am risen! <laughs> oh no! No! He's not God! What? I knew it. I knew it was you. She's a goner. Rip, sister. I'm trapped! I'm trapped! John Jennifer? Oh my god. Oh. No, no, no. Yep, the classic slit. Jennifer Tilly's slits are something else. No, 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 no. That's sad. Jennifer Tilly just has to actually watch her sister get murdered. Oh, that's really hard. Well, maybe if you figured a way to get out of the cage faster, that wouldn't happen. Who are you? That's Tiffany, baby. Tiffany Valentine, and I'm your goddamn mother. Oh my god. <laughs> Bit intense. If you don't shut up, I will lock you down here to starve. Do you understand me? You can't starve a doll. They don't have actual working stomachs. I've never seen a Chucky doll or that. Just like do a, do a shit. Um, actually, the dolls do have human properties okay just letting you know die hard chucky fan impersonation tiffany valentine is a loser but not in broader chucky she wasn't <laughs> i wasn't that good of a mom either i was trying to be somebody that i wasn't yeah you can say that again i was trying to be somebody that i wasn't i have one last birthday present for you huh <laughs> No way. Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it? Ah! <laughs> Holy shit! Oh, yeah. Yeah, still looks about as ugly as the day it left us. Hi, plastic David Bowie. It's me. No, it's David Bowie. Oh, my God. 
iconic shot right there. Are you going to go back into the doll? That would be wild. Seed of Chucky fans unite. Let's go. Uh, are you sure we haven't stumbled upon the whisperers from The Walking Dead? Someone's inside. Is it a version of Chucky that hates himself? Like emo depressed Chucky or something? Jesus. Oh, they're the dead bodies. Oh, there's the dude from the booth. Andy. Eh? I thought that was Jesus. <laughs> like Jesus Christ. Charlie? What? Why? What? That's colonel to you. Bald Chucky was the colonel. Good to see Xavier doing something outside his YouTube channel. Okay. <laughs> that's the end? Okay. Well, that's a revelation. Episode 6 time. Jesus. When the hell did he fly around like Henry Cavill? <laughs> that startled me. He went... I just want to slap him in the back of the head. <laughs> I can't believe this motherfucker was the mastermind. He had like a two second cameo at the start of the season. Tiffany has let Chucky Prime escape. They're on their way here now. Chucky Prime? That's a rather tender subject for you, isn't it? What's with the voice though? It's long grind. Uh, pardon, sorry? Let me do it. Let me kill them for you. She, she's not a very good therapist. Imagine paying $400 a session to then talk to this woman about your feelings and then she just kills you by the end of it. Could you have done that at the start when my problems were at their highest? If you get hungry while we're gone, may I recommend your leg? Slap him in the back of the head, please. <laughs> oh my God, that's brutal. Andy. If it's Devin and Lexi, we're gonna tie them. Wake up, Jesus. PTSD would have me thinking that they're human variants of Chucky. <laughs> the doll never leaves me alone! He's got PTSD now. Plastic trauma stress disorder. <laughs> that rhymes so well. Kaya. Yeah. <laughs> hey, we're gonna get you out of here, okay? Aw. He thinks he's lost Kyle. Don't worry, man. She's still alive somewhere in the world wearing her beret. Communion wafers aren't actually for snacking. Shut the f*** up, bitch. Why did you send Father O'Malley to his maker? I needed to get in a quick workout. Yeah. Let's go, brother. Oh, okay, that's enough. <laughs> You should be a blonde. He loves blondes, doesn't he? <laughs> These little feet! The little plop! I, I cannot you take this franchise sure seriously. Do. Oh! <laughs> Isn't that was too close! You told me that that Neanderthal. Neanderthal. Was he was. But Charlie, you do have a talent for resurrection. Oh, I fucking know that. Sometimes I wish he didn't have that power of resurrection. Gives me a break. Uh, it's a battle of alpha males currently. You know what? You two should start a podcast that would uh, kill the relationship very fast. Where'd you get that? That's none of your business, Mr. Wheeler. Oh my God, it's Voldemort. <laughs> I told Sister Ruth to throw that abomination away. I find it's of value in my sessions. What's he, the colonel looking at? The roof he's going, oh, that's some nice marble work up there. I use it to symbolize my patient's trauma. But what happened to his hair? I can't share that with you. Male pattern baldness, <laughs> probably. Think about what you're doing. This isn't a prison. Is this even legal? Whoever spares the rod hates their children. Careful to discipline them. You're saying I hate these children? That's insulting and absurd. Jeez, she was mad. Why do you work here? Go get a job as like an office girly or something. I don't know. Oh my God, it's Jesus. <laughs> He's come back. Who is this? 
he's the reason we came back. I thought Devin said he has risen, and I was like, dude, you can't just bring a homeless guy in from the street and say he's Jesus. That's, <laughs> that's not gonna work. I hope I'm not getting them in trouble. They've been very kind to me. Yeah, you got any food? What? That shouldn't be something Jesus asked for straight away. Just when I thought I'd given up hope, these two angels found me. They told me about your church. That's so fucking intentional to have him look like that in a religious school. The school was on lockdown and I find it wholly inappropriate to bring a stranger right now in. I kind of midst. agree. If a bunch of students brought a dude like that into my school, I'd be like, okay, has, has he got a gun or anything? Like, what's happening? What's your name, sir? Andy. Come with me, Andy. Let's get you cleaned up. You guys got like soap and shampoo and conditioner and stuff? <laughs> Upstairs. I'll be there in a minute to lock you in. Can you also tuck me in and uh, kiss me goodnight? Look who's back. Eminem? Where? You don't even campus violate your court order. I could have you thrown out of here if I wanted to. But that's not what I want. Nor what he wants. Oh my god, shut the fuck up. Why did Aunt May become a villain? How does it feel being a red-headed doll's little bitch? Word of advice. Oh. <laughs> Do not mention hair to the colonel. Just, just like how we shouldn't mention grandchildren to you? He's going to kill each and every one of you and I am absolutely going to watch. Lexi replies back with, oh, not an issue. No hair off my head. Did you have the dream? So, do they share the same dream? I mean, they're technically the same person, aren't they? <laughs> That's like an unsolicited dick pic. Just out of nowhere, it's super ugly, you don't want to look at it. Oh my god, he's cute. Uh, please delete that from our chat history. In fact, I'm blocking your number. Can you tell us what's gonna happen when we get there? I don't know, something. Oh! Almost. Oh! Oh, I like you a little bit less, Kyle, after doing that. Please leave your ears and glasses on. Mm. Oh. This woman would never be able to watch like a John Wick movie or anything if she switches like this seeing blood. Surprise, fucker. But the whole house exploded. You're telling me that one person died in that explosion? Please shut up and listen. <laughs> yeah, that sucks. It was a good explosion. Shit face. I'm sick of looking at this bitch already. Kill her for me. She's so, she's so fucking good. My god, I wish I could meet her. I wish I could meet her. Jennifer Tilly wanted for murder. <laughs> oh no. The Watch Mojo thing in the background. <laughs> Uh, that was a little bit rude. That flight could have actually been trying to come and tell you some information about Chuckle. Uh, <laughs> Watch. There was... Chucky. Bloody... <laughs> Who the f*** is Chuckle? Some important information about Chucky. And you've just gone... Uh... No. I, I can't believe you and Lexi just went out there. Now he swapped sides. He's gonna go tell Chucky the information. <laughs> He drew a picture of Nadine and him. <laughs> Maybe he is a good Chucky? My heart's telling me there's just no such thing as a good Chucky, though. He's back. He's gonna tell you more information. Mm -hmm. He's evil. Look at that face. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> That's not good Chucky. Good shot though, that poor fly. So a lot of these shots look pretty impressive, but they're actually pretty easy to do. All you have to do is try it a bunch of times and only show the take where you actually make the shot. Thank fucking God. Well, I believe this is a miracle. <sighs> You're gonna get fired. Just because he has a six pack does not mean he's like, Let's worship him. All right, guys that have dad bods are also worth worshiping. I told you to throw this monstrosity out yesterday, but here it is. Same doll sitting on my desk. She's been busy like licking his abs up and stuff. Ew! He is our Lord and Savior. We need to bring in a policy where we have to, the nuns here have to wear a GoPro on their head all day. So we see what they get up to. Let us pray, sister. 
Hi, I'm Chucky. Want a deadlift? <laughs> Our Lord is sitting right there. It is no fever. Funnily enough, some people would consider Buff Chucky to be a god. The god of lifting. Go to your room. Well, that's none of my business. Oh my god! Milo! Dude! Oh! This cat was just sniffing my leg after a spider was running up it. Brother, that scared the shit out of me then. <laughs> Chucky's gonna get a sneaky whisper in and be like, do you mind taking me back to the room and rubbing my feet again? Hi, I'm Chucky, you wanna rub my feet? <laughs> nice seeing you out and about, Baldy. I thought you were talking to me for a second. Stand down, soldier. You think that because you put on a little muscle, you can defy me? That's exactly what I think. I genuinely hate that voice. Be careful. Be careful? What are you saying? Thinking isn't your strong suit. Yeah, it's getting jacked and jacking off. Mind over muscle every time. Yeah, for some reason my cat at the moment likes like... For some reason he likes like laying on my shoulder like this, even though he's like way too fat. He's too he's too big for it. See? Look, look at this cat. Dude, use those big muscly hands of those punch it out of your system. It's the fucking funniest thing <laughs> I've seen all year. <laughs> Brother, I you can't just stay there. Impressive. They didn't practically carry me the whole way up. She been working out with Buff Chucky then, damn. So, what's the latest intel? I don't know, we killed the fly that was providing it. <laughs> I'm so glad that joke made a comeback. It's five against two. Six, actually. Andy's coming. We can stab, poison, okay. right. bludgeon, concuss. Wrong. That would just smash. We've got good old fashioned hand to hand combat. Knuckle dusters? Why does Nadine have knuckle dusters? Lexi, you look a little nervous. I don't like that. I don't like that. Want something to help with that? You're offering her drugs? He is the sneaky link. Thanks. Hey Lexi, crack a perk with me. <laughs> I wouldn't trust him. Uh-oh. He's coming in with a Keeps sponsorship. Give me liberty. What? I, I swear I haven't understood a single thing this version of Chucky has said all season. Give me liberty, baby. Uh, what? Give this Chucky subtitles. Oh, we got scissors in the back of our head. That might be why I didn't understand a single thing he just said. <laughs> that would hurt. Oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god. What the fuck is this? <laughs> the appropriate response. <laughs> what are you doing? I will avenge me. This season is freaking odd. Honestly thought she was about to give Chucky's feet the like gawk gawk 3000 then. You know that scene in Talk To Me? <laughs> That's what I thought she was about to do. <laughs> Let him go. Okay. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Looks like, but he's different, Andy. He saved our lives. There's no such thing as good Chucky. There's no such thing as good Chucky. <laughs> exactly. For once, Mr. Barkley, I agree with you. Oh my. Oh God, it's all happening now. We are progressing fast. My name is Good Chucky. I'll have you know. <laughs> okay, he's legit a good version of Chucky. My name is Good Chucky, I'll have you know. What those children have done to you, I don't know, but sadly... Uh, they just played Bluey for 24 hours straight. She's gonna hit him with like the Winter Soldier protocol and just read out keywords and his brain's gonna go, Oh, yeah, that's right, serial killer. Father Bryce, help, I'm being kidnapped. <laughs> help, <laughs> help, I'm being kidnapped. She's crazy, please help me. That's incredible. She's not a ventriloquist, bitch. Oh no. Is she good? She's good. Oh, it's, okay. It's in, it's in the arm. She's good. Jeez. Oh, shit. She's nimble for an old bitch. 
Okay, yeah, she's dead now. Her hip's just gone. Boop. Help! She's trying to kill me. Yeah. <laughs> Help! She's trying to kill me. What is your workout routine, Aunt May? If anyone can get through to good Chucky, it's going to be Nadine. They're like besties. I'm not worried about it. I'm not worried about any of this. I don't deserve you. I don't deserve any of you. Oh. I'm bad. No, you're not bad. Oh, no, Chucky. He's, he's going to throw himself off the edge. Nadine, wait. Hey, do you know what fairies like to do? <laughs> <gasps> no! I like to fly. No! No! Oh, fuck! No! Why is it always episode six? It's always been my favorite MO. <laughs> fuck! Kate, what have I done? Fuck! Oh no! Every character I like dies! Well, her gerbils wouldn't have done that to her, I don't think. Oh no! No! Oh. I need to lay down. Oh, that's the end! <laughs> Is that the end of the episode? Is that the end? Is that so- No, I'm not watching! I'm done! I'm done! I- Yeah, I'm out. Bye! That's- that's the end! That's the end! Okay. What have I done? You know what you've done, you fucking little shit. She's quite dead, I assure you. Hand him over, Mr. Wheeler. Can I go to therapy for that? <laughs> Push one little girl off a building and go to pieces. I'm sorry, Jake. Good guy dolls are hard to come by. In fact, this is the last one, and I'm going to need it for Chucky Prime. Chucky Prime? What the f*** is Chucky Prime? What did you do to your hair? I took my beret off. What did you do to yours? You look like fucking Jesus. <laughs> That's what I said. This is my body. Not for long. No, no fucking way. Chucky's not getting out of here alive. It's not that simple, Jake. It's good to see you guys again, by the way. You got- I need a gun myself. What do you need? I need to buy a gun. <laughs> if Everyone's we can like... save Nika, that's what we're gonna do. <coughs> we can transfer souls into another vessel. But then she's just gonna go back to boring old Nika. <gasps> I said her name properly. I think you're about to become uncharacteristically useful. That's actually true. He has been essentially useless this whole season. The search continues for actress Jennifer Tilly. Just look for someone that looks like that. Hey. Oh my God, it's you. Oh no, no, no. Bonnie from Family Guy, my favorite Family Guy. Can I have an autograph? I didn't, I didn't have a pen. Can I get a pic? No, 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 I don't. No, is Tiffany gonna come to the conclusion that being Jennifer Tilly isn't what she wanted? That would be pretty fun. We need, we need to find a motel. Motel? Did you just slow down? I thought we were going to get Glinda. Glenn, will you please stop thinking about yourself for just one minute? Jennifer Tilly is wanted for murder. Technically, it is their self. Him, itself, himself, I, I don't know. Transfer my soul again, but I can only transfer it into a bell doll. T did you see that recoil? Sorry, Jennifer, I don't make the rules. Dombala does. Prison will be a walk in the park for you. I love Glenn's doll just like brainlessly peeking over the top like, oh, bird. God. This is bullshit. The spot she landed in too. Ugh. We're gonna get him, Lex. Chucky's gonna pay for this. Like you paid for Junior. It's not gonna stop until we're all dead. Do any of us actually have anything in common besides Chucky? Well, you've got two arms. I've got two arms. Kind of in common. I'm done with all of it. I just want to sleep. I haven't even had a fight with Chucky in my life. Ever, but I completely understand. 
You know what this episode's missing? A lovely little chat about gerbils. That's what it's missing. I'm not a fan of Lexi this season. I can see what they're doing. I don't know how to word it. I just don't feel for her. <laughs> that sounds so nasty. Jake, what's going on? Game! Sir says in theory should banish an unclean spirit from its host, sending it to everlasting burning hell where it belongs. In God's eyes, I don't see why he'd be different. He's a doll! Oh, sorry, I'm... I'm still annoyed, honestly. Give my best to the Pope. I'll give you my best. You ever do something that stupid again? I'll kill you myself, okay? Crazy to picture them back in like Child's Play 2 to now. Insane how long ago that was as well. It was like last year. It's a joke about me doing Child's Play last year on my channel, if you didn't know. Toss my babysitter out an eighth story window 34 years ago. 34? Oh my god. You'll be free of him. None of us will be free of him until he's dead. I got some bad news. Uh, there's a season three coming and um, that means it doesn't end. First things first. Kill the old woman. Just like, just like jump scare or something. Hide behind one of these library shelves and then just, oh, and then, oh, oh, like that other woman that died. I love Nadine too. Are you sorry? Not sorry. <laughs> yep. Yeah. He's just a, he's just playing with you. Get his legs. Jake. Flying out the window. Bye. I'm all right now. Mental illness. I think it'd be a good idea for everybody if I move Chucky someplace safer. Okay, Jesus. You're the best around. Nothing's gonna ever keep me down. Oh, brother. What fucking drugs did we have? That's not a very nice thing to say, even if it is true. Oh, oh. Officially fucking lost it. Mm, you seem pretty okay to me, all things considered. Do you reckon she should be able to jump out the window now and be fine? <laughs> I thought you didn't need those anymore. Yeah, me too. Well, now you're dead, so I definitely need them. Jake, Devin, your family, they all care. I don't understand where Nadine found the time to go and buy like a light up neon cape while she was falling. When did that happen? You're brave. You're the bravest person I know. Oh. It takes a very courageous person to admit that they feel this way. My mom couldn't do it. Why isn't Nadine a therapist? Because she's dead. We all go to that big old amusement park in the sky eventually. Amusement park? And like I always say, good friends can make it through anything. <sighs> mm. She just hot. I was gonna say, she just hugs nothing. You know what? You deserve a hug. You can wait till the end of the episode. Well, I'm ashamed to say it, but... It terrifies me. Yeah, it would. He's haunted you for like 30 years. So I've been excommunicated. They can't. They did. So you are literally just useless this season. You did more as Jake's dad dying in the basement than you have as Father Bryce. A step-by-step -step guide to exorcism. Yeah, exorcism for dummies. Now with the Vatican sister. Oh, we're going rogue. Oh, oh, he's doing things. Oh, he is doing things. He should be doing things, not to me, but uh, to some of the folks I know. These are very dangerous. You know that. Is she like a secret baddie? You know, I believe most nuns are once they take the robes off. <laughs> Our whole lives, Glenn and I were lied to. And not just by mom. No, you weren't. You. That's a lie! Yeah, well, you never told us the truth either about who we are, where we come from. Yeah, I mean, he just told a fabricated version of the truth. You're exactly like mom. You're completely self-absorbed. You're violent. You're psychotic. And you were never there for us, and you still aren't. You're a bad dad! Glenn and I are actually just orphans. Props to her for being able to act like this opposite a plastic doll. I would not be able to do that. Can you do something for me, father? 
I could try. Can you say a prayer for my twin, Glenn? I get this gut feeling that like one of the twins is not gonna make it. I think one of them's gonna sacrifice themselves. If this works, you're gonna be gone for good. Will I go to heaven? Highly doubt it. The power of Christ compels you. You think I'm scared to go to hell? Fuck that. I'm from Jersey. <laughs> See, I thought to like unpossess him, you just had to like, are we Dewey Dembler backwards? Like, <laughs> I didn't think you had to do like a full blown exorcism. You think I'm scared to go to hell? Fuck that. Well, mate, you, you are. <laughs> No more wrinkles, lots of cute outfits, and last I checked, all the plumbing works too. Ugh, I don't like thinking about anatomically correct plastic toys. You can get full off of a fun size chocolate bar, you can downsize That's your true. house. You can take a small dick and it looks like a big dick. Up. Oh. Wow, sounds like you've got it all figured out. Lots of choices. Lots of choices. Must be nice. Glenda and I never got any choices. Oh. God damn. Run! Run! What the actual f to Jennifer Tilly's dead? What? What? That hits so quickly. Oh, uh, that's that's a poor choice of words. Your mother sucks cocks in hell. Yeah. <laughs> We've all okay. seen that movie too, asshole. But in your mother's case, it's actually true. Oh! Busy. <laughs> Holy shit! It's a classic. David, don't listen to him. Oh, I'm listening. Hey, Nika, can can Chucky Prime come out to play? We need to chat. Pardon? Killer to killer. What do you mean? Hold him. Have mercy on him. What the fuck is a Chucky Prime? Sounds like an energy drink. Ugh, why is it so chunky? What have we been eating for it to look like that? Uh, you know what you should do? I learned this from Scary Movie 2. You should just vomit back onto Chucky. Have a vomit off. Be gone, unclean spirits. What the fuck? That's like a chiropractor for a second. I come on. Yep, yep, there it is. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, Charles is coming out to play. Hey me, long time no see. <laughs> Thanks, Carl. Appreciate it. Yeah, just punch her in the head. That was easy. Cover my eyes. Just get a spoon, warm it up. You're missing every other body part. You may as well take your eyes out too. What? Uh-oh. Oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> this is the weirdest fucking season of any show I've ever watched. I don't like that. I actually don't like that. Also, you guys yelling the power of Christ compels you? What's he... Like, he's flying further away. He's not going to hear it. <laughs> Me too. The power! What the hell have you done now? You gotta call Ash Williams. This is some fucking demonic dead eye shit. Father? <laughs> Stand back! Oh, what? What? Chucky, you go to hell. You first, father. Oh! Okay, okay, we don't need seven different angles of the explosion. We get it, he blew up. Oh. Well, I think it's safe to say that, uh, that blew everyone's expectations out of the water. What happened? Oh, I, you, yeah, you don't, you, it worked. You don't need to know. You don't need to know, actually. You just try to see the best in everyone. Can we wrap this up? Well, you got a hip replacement appointment or something? Are they to wait and is this gonna work? Is this gonna work? Oh, someone go outside and check if there's clouds. 
That means it's working. I thought this chick was like team try to kill everyone with an evil doll. Why is she so... Why is she so chill right now? Oh, that would hurt. That would... That would burn. What the f... What the f... Oh, so she's naughty now because she has the hood off. Just let her go. Damn, Jake. Didn't know you had it in you. Too bad you couldn't finish. Hope that's not an issue in the bedroom. Devin? <laughs> Stop. Stop. Right. You Stop. two are still virgins. Oh. Stop! Stop, dude! Charles! Zip it! See you real soon. Yeah, in season three, probably. <laughs> I am your servant. I will all... Oh! Glenda! Oh, that... Don't pull that out. Oh, that's gnarly. Oh. Now you can see what you look like. God damn, girl, that was... You need to go to the Olympics or something for ring toss if you can't throw that well. That was precise. Oh, she's running. Don't worry, she'll trip over in like 20 seconds. The hip will pop out. Andy, pop her! Bang, 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 bang! Oh. I thought Andy was gonna pop the therapist. Two for one deal, then just shot both. Is Andy finally getting to properly kill a Chucky doll? And don't correct me if he's already done that. There's too many Chucky properties I've forgotten. That's a sick shot. The three generations of Charles play like standing together. I love that. We did this last time, we celebrated in like episode 4 of season 1, and it was not over. <laughs> okay? Now all they have to worry about is acne, gym class, and heartache. And getting tickets to a Taylor Swift concert. Yeah! There's that too. Chucky made you so cynical. Nah. That's my parents. How's it hanging, Phil? Right. Oh. Oh man, they were so young. Where are we going? Andy, I have no idea. Damn, that's a punch in the guts. What a beautiful edit that was though. I really appreciate something like that. I'm on my own side. Always. Team Glenn, duh. <laughs> I'm never gonna get past that joke and I don't care. How are you feeling? Fucking confused. Like an orphan. Yeah, so that's the same feeling. Look, I know she lost her legs, but she has really nice kneecaps. I would just like to put that out there. I'm not a kneecap fetishist or anything, but she has really nice kneecaps. She may have lost her legs, but she has nice kneecaps. There's a pun there. Kneecaps. <laughs> <laughs> Is Glenn gonna... Oh my God. No! No! Glenn! Oh, dude! Dude! No, please! 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 No! Why do I watch this stupid show? I shouldn't watch stupid shit like this. Oh. Oh, she's fine. Oh my god. You're giving me heart palpitations. You can't do that. You're giving me a panic attack. Wait, is she a version of Charles? Wait, 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 now that would make sense. When did that, when did that swap occur? He's, he's fucking everywhere. I'd go down to the supermarket and he'd be serving me at the fucking register. You, you can't escape him. Well, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> it's time for episode eight. <coughs> that wasn't him, was it? Had they swapped? Highly doubt Chucky would be going. That was the old woman. The old woman's soul was in the doll. I bet you. Yep. Oh my god. That's a good twist. That is a good twist there. Did you always plan on killing your mother? Or was it a spontaneous decision? What's spontaneous? Like that. Push them over the air? <laughs> no. No. S stop. Traumatize them. <laughs> what a prick 
She's been in it since season one setting this all up. <laughs> She's got Sorry. clocked by a doll. But I'm afraid our time is up. It was a neutral, non-consensual body swap. Dude, you don't want to feel granny titties. You'd have to reach down to your kneecaps. Of course, there's always another one. Like straight men with a podcast, there's just an infinite number. I'm an addict. Just got out of rehab. One of the very few things in my life that I never posted about on TikTok. TikTok? That's how one of my American friends uh, pronounced TikTok. TikTok! There's another secret. One that only three other people in my life know about. Is she gonna bring up the doll? The truth is, for a while now, there's been a monster in my life. And he's about this tall. He has red hair, orange hair, if you want to be specific. And he swears a lot. My mother. Oh, okay. That's not a monster. That's a momster. Shut up! No, no, no. Shut up! I haven't told her yet. Wait, what? Oh no, we're gonna see the mum again. I'd, I'd gotten used to not seeing her because she'd pissed me off so much. Hey mom. Hi, Jake's here. Hi! How you going? It's so good to see you. Of course you can stay here. It's the holidays. Thank you, Mrs. Cross. I'd like to cross her off my list. Like the, the death note. What kind of neighbor would I be if I wasn't here to take in a, a poor orphan during the holidays? I cannot believe that Lexi and the mum, Michelle, are like, they're actually mum and daughter in real life. That has blown my mind. More so than Father Bryce's. So did you miss me? Uh, yeah, I miss you. Oh, God. Jesus Christ, Michelle. I was live streaming to 100,000 followers. <laughs> 100,000? There is not 100,000 people watching you stand in front of a Christmas tree. Max, there was 75. I can't do this. Walking away. Done. That felt like Hallmark Christmas movie then. I'm not doing it. I'm walking away. I'm back. Oh, hey. Uh, cool. <laughs> Could you imagine? The doctors say that you have days now. No, no. If they die, I die too. You're okay with that. Why do you think I saved it all these years? Go back in the doll? In, back into the doll? I am a little bit excited. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they got bloody Dr. Mixter to do the track. World's quietest. How does that work? I've been a very naughty boy this year. <laughs> <laughs> oh my, please don't say that ever again. There we go. I just finished dressing these handsome gents. What were those hashtags? Hashtag DIY Christmas. That's a good hashtag. Hashtag trim dash a dash tree. That, <laughs> that sucks. Michelle underscore cross. That's enough internet for me today, I think. Hi there. How you doing? The dolls in the suitcase. I'm I'm actually a little bit excited. I don't know if I'm actually gonna be able to contain it when it when it happens. That doll's in the suitcase. I just had such a fun time with Cedar Chucky that I'm so excited. Merry Christmas, Doctor. Merry Christmas. The voice. You need to change up your voice. You sound like Jennifer Tilly. Doll, 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 doll. <laughs> oh God, is it actually gonna happen? They've brought everyone back, it seems, except Andy's mum. Where the hell is Andy's mum? Dr. Robert Rasmussen. I didn't think you'd actually be stupid enough to come here. Well, surprise, I am. Stupid. Jen, put it down. What was that commotion in room 204? I heard a crash. Oh, I broke a face. Oh, that's okay, hon. I'll get someone to clean it up. No, 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 no. I got it. Way to make it suspicious. Oh. Hey, mom. 
We're gonna hit him with the Jill Roberts. Clear! Oh, Clear! Yes. Okay, uh, get rid of that fire ASAP before it sets off the sprinklers and alarms. You're in a hospital. Merry Christmas, Glenda. Uh, fire system says hello. They're in the doll! Show me! Show me! Can't find a suitable baby Jesus. No, I don't want to see Michelle Cross's TikToks. Show me! 31,000 likes though. F off. You're telling me that Michelle Cross is more popular than Jennifer Tilly. What is it? Oh my, oh my God. Okay, let's see, where was I? Am I done yet? <laughs> It's me. Oh, ah! I love it. I love me. Oh my God! Yes. Oh, thank you, mummy. We win. I feel like I feel like I need to be drunk. I feel like I need to be drunk. Call me Gigi. A Gigi. Gigi. For good game, I'm guessing. Or gay guy. That's <laughs> <laughs> obviously Glenn and Glenda. Oh, stop it, mummy! You wrinkle my dress. <laughs> ah! Call back. How do I how do I remember Seed of Chucky so well when I was drunk? I thought I might do some traveling. Oh. Now that's the voice I remember. That's the iconic voice. Where do you think you might want to go? England. England. I want to explore my roots. <laughs> oh please, they're not leaving already, are they? <laughs> I'm going to miss you, mommy. No, you can't leave. You just got here. Can I give you a lift to the post office? <laughs> to the post office? No way. Now my Christmas is ruined. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot, Rachel. Thanks to you, my charger's not charging on my iPad because it's got used to your iPad instead of mine. Thanks a lot, Rachel. Thanks a lot. What if it's like a podcasting kit or something? That'd be sick, actually. Did some research on mine. Apparently, this is the best one, so. Ah! <laughs> yes, I love it. The character arc I care about the most. Devin Evans hack and slash podcast. I haven't really been into podcasting for a year. I'm kind of done with it. Oh, shut up and accept the gift. Okay. I'm sorry. Don't. What? It's not like a pair of socks or anything. It's a podcasting kit. They're like hundreds of dollars. Devin, if you don't want it, j just send me that shit. I'll, I'll accept it gladly. Merry Christmas, Devin. Yeah. You too. Yeah, shit. Devin. Dude, you just ruined the whole Christmas vibe then. I have to post this. No, you don't. Hashtag family Christmas. Hashtag Christmas. Hashtag DIY food at Christmas. Hashtag sad mum. Hashtag, I'm the worst. Hashtag, bad mom. So. Hashtag, miss my husband. Are you excited for Santa tonight? I guess. That's if he's hashtag coming. Well, you've been such a good girl this year. I bet he's going to bring you something really special. It's going to be a Chucky doll or a podcasting kit. You know, I just exchange it for something you think is better. Jake, I mean, Jake, I like the gift, okay? Okay, well, it doesn't seem like you do. I love it. I think it's the greatest gift in the history of all gifts. That makes it worse. I feel like an idiot. Yeah, well, you look like one too. Yep, I haven't even got a Christmas hat on. I have something that I want to say. Oh, Lexi, please. You're a bad mum, and you suck. Mum? I've blamed you for everything that's gone wrong in my life. This is your apology? Michelle. Mrs. Cross. Mrs. Cross. If we keep talking like this, she is going to be cross in a minute. Everything that I've blamed you for, I'm also guilty of doing. Do you know how hard this would be to film opposite your actual biological parent? I think we're both more alike than either of us wants to admit. If only you knew. You're really growing up. I admit, I've made some mistakes too. Poor Caroline has done nothing this season at all. Why don't you two just make up already? Okay, we're gonna put in our effort now at the end of the season. You're the best Christmas present I've ever got. You did save the receipt for that oh, podcast shit, right? Shut up. Yeah. 
Just send it to me. He's actually, funnily enough, I bought you a podcasting kit too, so we could do it together. Yeah, I know exactly who's coming down the chimney, and it ain't Santa Claus. Off in the house, not a creature was stirring. Not even the world's quietest chainsaw. Did we drop Gigi at the post office? How much was that postage fee, by the way? That chainsaw's so quiet, I haven't even heard him rev it up. Right, this is how he revs up. That's how quiet it is. Oh, no. Jennifer Tilly? Oh, no. Everyone knows her. Also, you're not concerned she's just in your house? I, I know that didn't go so well. I hope you won't hold that against me. <laughs> no, no, not at all. Ask her why she's in your house. That's not weird to you? Ah, it's Jennifer Tilly! Oh, no. Huh. Oh, my God. Oh, oh my, my God. God. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't even like stop the live or anything. It's still running. 30 people are now traumatized. Oh my god. Oh my Jesus Christ. It's a it's a quiet and efficient chainsaw by the looks of it. You're supposed to be dead. You know, if I had a nickel. Um the two parts on the floor, her right side and her left side. <laughs> <laughs> That's such a gross visual. Kids who misbehave have to be punished. Glenn and Glenda, they disobeyed me. They ain't here. They are currently in England at the pub. No, oh, I wasn't born yesterday. I mean, technically I was born about three weeks ago. Shut up. I'm gonna find them and punish them. Oh my God, season three, Chucky goes to British. <laughs> England? No, 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 no! Your mum's right there! You're gonna land on your mum! What did you do to my mother? I'll fucking kill you! Chucky just gave her two new viewpoints, right and left. Lexi, let me go. Dude, you know she's not going to when you've just separated her mum right on the floor. <laughs> okay, Lexi. Oh God, that is, oh Jesus, that's feral. What a fucking rush. <laughs> no. Oh, she looks like she's come from an Evil Dead movie. Oh, fuck off. Oh, okay, so she has mental illnesses. Thanks Caroline for doing nothing all season and then showing up at the very end to claim your rewards. It's like watching a kindergartner get revealed as Ghostface. I'm your real sister. You're the liar. Oh, social services are gonna love you, girl. What have you done with him? I killed him. Chopped him up into little pieces like a banana cake. Oh yeah, now I'm a banana cake. You'll all be sorry. Sorry, Caroline. Can't hear you over the world's loudest chainsaw I've got right here. Oh, I'm an orphan too. Now you can be Batman. That's like the one requirement. Have you seen the suspect before? Absolutely. Is the doll still on the floor? Chopped up? That'd be good evidence, right? It was Jennifer Tilly. Oh, I always thought she was overrated. After he said that, he had to private all his socials because the fans went nuts. Are you guys okay? Oh shit, it's the teacher! Good to see she got out of jail. Probably because the detective died. Can you take them somewhere safe today? Yeah, yeah. N no problem. <laughs> Takes them to school? <laughs> I would hate that. My mum died and now I have to go to school? Hello? Oh god. That black bob looks horrendous on her. You are not Nicki Minaj. I'm sorry about what happened with Glenn, I am. I never wanted to hurt them. Damn, three weeks later and we've got bangs and bob cuts? What is going on? And I love what you've done to your hair. Well, you'd be the first person to tell her that. <gasps> She's like an assassin? She's a doll assassin! It all comes full circle! 
She's going to snipe Nicki Minaj. I actually thought she was going to pop her with a sniper rifle then. Like that bionicle arm comes with like a sniper upgrade or something. She just like Iron Man's it. Like, Pshaw. No. No. Oh, God damn it. Possess. Possess, you stupid <laughs> doll. It's going to work. Rock. Come on. Go on, double, double. <laughs> what the fuck? What the frick? Oh! <laughs> no. Off. They have different facial structures and everything. There's no way he perfected Belle's face like that. On the first day That's not of the Christmas. end of her. That's not the end of the show either, is it? Happy holidays, everybody. Thanks, man. It's not fucking December, but I appreciate it. Wait, wait, wait. That's the end of the season? Oh, God. I don't... No, I actually, I know how I feel exactly about that. I did not like that. That just ended just like that. I actually don't know how I feel about that overall. I, I can tell you I hate that ending. That... What the hell was that? I like it when a season feels self-contained in case it gets cancelled. So, if you're watching a show and you dedicate time to a show... You don't watch two seasons of it and then it gets cancelled and you're just left on like a cliffhanger like that. I'm not gonna lie, I had a lot of fun with this season, but I had so much more fun with season one. Uh, season two felt messy and normally like I'm a big goofy, quirky, messy kind of guy, but that it felt really odd is how I would word that. Let me know down below actually, how do you feel about season two of Chucky? Favourite moment? Um, and do you like season one or season two better? Please consider checking out the Patreon if you want to see extended uncensored reactions or you want to see my videos early there too. Season three of Chucky will be happening on my channel. It will be happening when, uh, the other half of season three comes out. So, uh, I don't know when that will be, but it will be. That it will be. I am going to say to you a very, very... Merry Christmas. I don't know what day it is, but Merry Christmas anyway.